Well, welcome back to the channel of opening Pokemon cards. Heck yeah. Okay, so last time we did a batch uh, video recording, we haven't uploaded it yet. So this may be out of order because we got a camera since then. So we could have double camera, one on our face to see the reactions. Ooh, we're getting nifty. I know, right? <laughs> we got this camera for $7 at Walmart on clearance. We're like, okay, it, even if it's terrible, at least it'll be good enough for like a small corner screen. <laughs> <laughs> so let it's us know. It's not that bad. It, also, you're not I, supposed to give our trade secrets away. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. We didn't say anything. <laughs> Today, we're going to open up the Morpeko V Union box. Um, honestly, really cool. Probably one of my favorite v union arts probably my least favorite playability wise <laughs> it has uh no... i don't know the pikachu is really cool though the pikachu is really i cool. love all yeah. the different pikachus on the card yeah but the zashian mewtwo and uh green ninja ones they're they're like pretty standard just like we put a v card in four cards <laughs> uh, but the special art in japan of this is really cool uh i hope we get that one day but my big problem with this is that there's like no abilities it's all attacks so oh well uh shall we shall we jump right into it yeah all right let's do this um uh, you know i'm just gonna oh my gosh pour more peco yeah. pour more peco <laughs> i'm not gonna look it was the i tried opening it the normal way and it wouldn't it just it, it like had a problem so. an issue issues okay and i really like how they bundle these now with like the package right behind it oh ho, ho. that's really cool that's really cool that yeah happen? so that's in every v union card that'll be uh the thing that pops up and um yeah so all right so you you hold two and i'll hold two and we'll make exodia pikachu uh electric rat <laughs> Okay, ready? Ready for this? Wait, gotta bring it lower. We're losing all the plastic. All right. Or, alternatively, when you play a V-Union, you just, boom, show them your big schlong on the table. Oh your big schlong. But also known as that's Jumbo kind of, Card. Like, how are you going to carry that around in your deck? You're you not. don't. You carry it around in your binder, right? We so, can make that's Ultra kind of Pro. annoying. Yeah. You have to have a binder and your deck box. Yep. Yep. It, so we might as well just have the cards. <laughs> yep. And this can be a little cute little pretty thing in your binder. Yep. All right. Well, uh, aside from the promo, which we know you really buy this for, uh, you get two Fusion Strike packs and two Brilliant Stars packs. So we're going to do one of each per person. Which one are you doing first? Uh, well, we got to build up. So we got to start with the worst pack. Oh. Hot take. What is it? Fusion <laughs> Strike? Hot seat, I should say. <laughs> It's up to you. <laughs> I would I, rather. I, I, I would rather open brilliant stars. Yeah, exactly. Stars, exactly. <laughs> fusion strike is great, but there's there, a yeah. There's so much. There's so much fusion strike. Like even if the cards are lower value in brilliant stars, the hits themselves are more fun to open. So yeah. you you might as well just yeah. I don't know. You might as well open up something you're gonna enjoy. I mean, but on the same token, on the market. Uh, keep going yeah sorry uh on the on the aftermarket brilliant stars booster boxes are like 135 and um uh, the fusion strike booster boxes are like 80 90 dollars so really uh, it's up to you oh we already got a hit though okay 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 i can see the shiny behind it okay <laughs> you're going super fast super fast all right ev shinx shelmet Dribbler, Jill, Drillbur, Bunnelby, Reverse Hall Helio. Oh, am I going to eat my words on this? Are we going to open up something heat? Oh my oh gosh! My gosh! Oh, let's go! Oh my gosh, that's like the last like huge hit from Fusion Strike we need, too. Oh my gosh! Uh, okay. Okay, I take it all back, Fusion Strike. We are not worthy. We are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's get that close up. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful, beautiful card. <laughs> the alternate art Gengar V Max. Oh, I never even noticed the buildings in the back. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Oh, man. What have we done? Okay, starting off the pack video, the pack opening strong. Okay, well, out of a more Peko V Union box, I guess, I guess the hits are kind of strong in those. Jeez. All right, my fusion strike pack. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, let's hope for greatness here. 
I mean, that's that's enough to pay for two more Peko boxes. So, oh, we got another black border though. Three, four to the front. Okay, Electric Energy, Breloom, Frost Switcher, Garbodor, Klefki, Pan Sage, Wulu, Hancham, Claren Darmuka. Oh my gosh, we got another hit. Gospel Floor oh and God. Oh, a Breloom beat. Okay. But still a hit. Like, come on. We're, we're, we're in the positives. You can't be too upset about something like a more common V. Okay. Four to the front. Fighting energy. Cafe Master. Monferno. Gloria. Duskull. Sneasel. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Four fish. Magmar. Spiritomb, Breloom, we've seen that guy a lot today, and a Manaphy, okay, okay nice sure. playable card, I will always accept that. I like Manaphy. We will always accept that. Okay. Yeah, alright. All right. So yeah, a good idea. Good. Right. That's a hit, I don't, I, I, that's an honorary hit. Honorary hit. Yep, honorary hit. Alright, last pack of the box. Okay, white code card, but that doesn't always mean everything in Brilliant Stars, so we're good with that. Put that down. One, two, three, four. Okay, Water Energy, Magma Basin, Crawdunt, Ultra Ball. I actually need that for a deck. I'm going to put that aside. Ball Toy, <laughs> Snow Runt, Nose Pass, Milkery, Cub Chew, Reverse Hollow Star Arabia, and a Haxorus, non hollow. All right, not too bad, but this boy, this boy is the box, honestly. Like, for real. Honestly. Like, over the moon Marpeco Yes. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I, I never thought we'd own this card, honestly. We are so close to finishing Fusion Strike. The only alt arts we need now are like the Intellion and that that's it. Well, alright. Thank you so much for watching guys. <laughs> do you think okay, without without this card, do you think if we had just opened up this, do you think that box would have been worth thirty dollars? Well, it's but thirty dollars? Yeah. I don't know because I kind of like playing, playing like the Marpeco mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the V Union. Mm -hmm. I have a V Union in yeah. my Pikachu deck, and that's which of actually fun. does work. Like it, it's so, a fun deck. Yeah, it, it's really fun, and uh, it's kind of gimmicky. Has a lot of like, like you have to play from your discard pile, which I actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. So if you if you like playing that way, then sure. It, is it now? My question from someone who doesn't really know a ton about this is that part of a set is this, the Marpeco part this of is a set? promo it's just a promo but some people collect promos like some people like oh well, i mean a lot of people collect promos that's not what i should say but a lot of people um like make a make a point to collect all of the promos out of like a sort like a certain block and stuff so if that's you definitely like this is a easy pickup um because i was pricing these out even I've actually priced them out consistently with the other V unions, and they most of the time um, are worth just the box itself. So you might as well get some extra packs. Like mm. if you're gonna buy the promo, like all four of them individually, they're like five to seven bucks. So seven, 14, 21, 28, so almost $30. Um, you, you may as well just pay the extra two bucks and get four packs out of it. Right, and that makes sense because then you have a chance of pulling something as delicious as this yep. dude right here. Yep. And not to mention, uh, historically speaking, cards that come like this, uh, like if you're looking at the Legends cards, we don't know, I'm not saying for a fact that these are gonna like go crazy high up to the moon value, but the Legend cards sure did, and that was the last time they split cards like this. It'll be interesting to see how these work if they'll be in the same situation, because they're just so unique and so different. So we'll see value-wise, like long-term, if that's your game, like if that if that matter, if that's gonna matter long-term, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was fun. I can't believe we had such a great pack opening on that one. Um, let us know what kind of things you'd like us to open up in the future. If we got it, we'll try and open it for you. Uh, but until then, we'll see you next time. Happy catching.